The Chicago Bears have themselves a new defensive coordinator. We have just promoted safeties coach Sean Desai to being our next defensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears after Chuck Pagano retired. What's up, guys? I'm back with the Chicago Bears offseason update videos. Now that it is the offseason for the Chicago Bears, I'll be coming out with as many offseason updates as I possibly can, talking about coaching changes, personnel changes, you know, draft updates, maybe talk about potential trades that we could do because obviously, you know, we're probably going to take a swing at a new quarterback because I don't see any way in which Mitch Trubisky is returning for next season, especially with Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace being brought back, which I also, I don't think I talked to you guys about that, uh, Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy being brought back because I haven't made a video on this channel in like a long, long time, okay? Ever since the last Bears game, I have not made any videos on my channel. I took a couple weeks off because sometimes trying to balance, you know, YouTube, school, and my personal life, like it gets to be a lot to handle sometimes. So I want to give myself a little bit of a breather and just take a couple weeks off and not do much of anything and just chill and relax, which is exactly what I did. So um, I hope you guys understand I didn't make that many videos recently and I kind of missed out on some big news, but I'll be back covering all the latest news now. Um, now I'm going to be back making these videos for you. And obviously the first update I have to bring to you guys is that we have a new defensive coordinator. Okay, we finally got rid of Chuck Pagano, which I am so happy about, guys. If you guys watch my videos over the last year, you guys would know that I was not a big fan of Chuck Pagano at all. Okay, he had way too much talent on this defense to work with. He had guys like Eddie Jackson, Kyle Fuller, you know, talented rookie like Jalen Johnson, Roquan Smith. He had so much talent on this defense to work with to only finish 14th in points allowed per game to only finish 11th in points or sorry yards allowed per game and to finish also bottom 15 in in uh, turnovers and sacks as well okay this defense had no big plays at all on it we had very few you know moments in which we thought this defense was actually taking over the game okay yeah we were a decent defense for most of the year but we were not that same elite fearsome defense we were in 2018 which is not good enough for a roster of this caliber okay we have one of the highest paid defenses in the entire nfl and chuck pagano clearly did not get the most out of them so i wish him the best of luck in retirement he's a really great guy you know beat cancer really strong guy really good character as well but i'm really happy the bears are moving on and the guy that we hired to replace him my god man if he can be anything close to what the reviews are saying about him if he can be anything close to what players like kyle long sam macho are saying about him if he can be anything close to what coaches like Vic Fangio and Brandon Staley are saying about him if he can be anything close to what the media is saying about him like the Bears might have got themselves a damn good coach to lead this defense for the foreseeable future safeties coach Sean Desai has been with the team ever since 2013 so he's been here for a long long time ever since the Mark Trestman days he's been with this team he's helped out in a lot of different capacities had a lot of different roles on this team which I'll talk about a little bit later but he has now moved up all the way to being defensive coordinator and play caller of the Bears defense and I'll be honest I knew next to nothing about this guy before the past you know few weeks because I don't really pay too much attention to our assistant coaches besides you know some of the main ones like Jay Rogers who um, unfortunately left so <laughs> we're gonna have to replace our defensive line coach Jay Rogers and obviously back in the Vic Fangio days I know of guys like Ed Donatel you know one of the best secondary coaches of all time so I know the main you know very elite coaches that we had but i didn't really know some of the more behind the scenes guys like sean desai i mean i've heard their names maybe once in a while but i can't tell you too much about them because i haven't really heard much of what they do okay so i didn't really know too much about this guy i had to research what he does and what people had to say about him and i cannot believe man how much good stuff people had to say about this guy sean desai okay about a guy that i really did not even know who he was a couple weeks ago apparently he's one of the smartest guys in the building, okay, according to people that were actually in this building, not just any scrubs, not just any random people in the media, you know, former defensive players on the Bears, like Sam Macho, they had a lot of good things to say about this guy, Sean Desai. So I'm going to read a couple tweets now from Sam Macho that he made over the past, you know, few days. So um, before the hiring, you said that the Bears don't have to look too far for the next defensive coordinator. Sean Desai has been ready for that role for years. He was Vic Fangio's right-hand man for four years and help craft that defense to greatness smart talented knows ball and has all the credentials all he needs is an opportunity those are some pretty strong words coming from a former player 
of this defense okay obviously Sam Macho was not like a superstar or anything on this defense but he was a part of that defense okay he was in all the meetings he was in the same room as all those guys so to have this high praise coming from a former player it definitely does mean a lot okay because these guys were actually in those meetings every single day these guys were actually talking with these coaches they were you know doing workouts with them and doing all these trainings with them so obviously they would know the situation a lot better than anybody else on the outside does know it so it's a good sign man that Sam Macho is saying all these things about Sean Desai I mean if he was actually the right hand man of Vic Fangio which I don't think that would be necessarily true because I think that was more of Ed Donatel's role but regardless if he was even close to being near Vic Fangio at all okay brainstorming with him doing meetings with him you know talking with him that is a good sign for his future in the NFL as a defensive guy because it seems like anybody over the past few years that's even touched Vic Fangio in any way you know been an assistant or w- whatever like they're, they're having a lot of good success in higher up roles in the NFL if you look at a guy like Brandon Staley man Brandon Staley he was an outside linebackers coach for the Chicago Bears he is now the head coach of the Los Angeles Chargers after being a great defensive coordinator for the Rams last year so you know if you also look at a guy like you know Jay Rogers he's getting a higher up role um, I forgot where. I think also with the Chargers, I believe. So he's working with Brandon Staley. If you look at a guy like Ed Donto, our secondary coach, he's now obviously defensive coordinator um, of the Broncos. And Vic Fangio, he's a head coach as well. So like anybody that's even been with Vic Fangio, they've been getting great roles in the NFL because Vic Fangio is, in my opinion, the smartest defensive coordinator, the smartest defensive guy in the entire NFL. Okay, His ability to understand coverages, his ability to disguise coverages and send pressure without even blitzing. It's probably the best in the entire NFL. He's one of the smartest guys on the defensive side of the football. I mean, if you pick his brain, he knows practically every single thing there is to know about playing defense in the NFL. So to be in the same room as this guy, to learn from him, that's obviously a good sign for you. And to hear that Sean Desai might have been the right-hand man also of Vic Fangio, that's even more reassuring. So if you move on and see what else Sam Macho had to say about Sean Desai. So uh, later on when he officially got hired, he said that this is a huge hire for the Chicago Bears. Congrats to Sean Desai on becoming the next Bears defensive coordinator. Uh, they've got some holes to fill, blah, blah, blah. But this is a step in the right direction. Expect more of what you saw in 2018, but with his own flavor, which I'm assuming that flavor is going to be spicy because Sean Desai also is the first coordinator of Indian descent in the NFL. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's pretty cool to see, especially because I'm Indian myself. So seeing my fellow brown people you know, up here in these high roles in the NFL, like we haven't seen that ever before. So that's a pretty cool thing to see. But <laughs> obviously, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is the fact that this guy might lead us back to the 2018 levels of this defense because he will employ a similar style of defense as Vic Fangio. Now, obviously, I'm not going to try to hype up this guy too much because this is going to be his first year coaching as a coordinator in the league. So his first year calling plays to compare him to Vic Fangio in any way that's kind of wishful thinking, but if he has any sort of the same knowledge of coverages like Vic Fangio did, if he knows how to disguise a coverage like Vic Fangio did, if he's not going to play our DBs 20 yards back from the line of scrimmage, if he's not going to, you know, drop Khalil Mack and Robert Quinn back into coverage, if he's going to use Eddie Jackson as an actual free safety, he's going to be an upgrade over what we had in Chuck Pagano. And everything I'm reading about this guy leads me to believe that that's going to be the case okay schematically it seems like his scheme is going to be very similar to what we saw under Vic Fangio so I know there was a lot of speculation about how if the Bears got a new defensive coordinator we could go to a 4-3 defense but that's obviously not going to happen now okay we're going to stay with the 3-4 and we're probably going to use some of the same concepts that we saw back in 2018 and again I'm not going to guarantee they're going to work perfectly well like they did that year because there's just too much variables now obviously we don't have the same players and obviously Sean Desai, it's going to be his first year being a coordinator in the league. So he's not going to be as good as Fangio probably. But if he can be anywhere close to what Fangio was, that's going to be a big upgrade for the Bears defense. If you guys want a little bit more information about this guy, you know, about his past experience coaching in this league, um, I'll talk about that right now. So according to his Wikipedia page, you know, he was a coach at Temple from 2006 to 2010. He was a defensive and special teams coach there. Then he went to Miami in 2011 to be the assistant director of football operations then he went to boston college in 2012 to be the running backs coach and special teams coordinator so kind of a different role that he had there but then after that he got hired to the chicago bears from 2013 to 
to 2018 as being a quality control assistant. So he didn't really have a high up role during those years, but he was part of, you know, formulating all the game plans and part of all the meetings. So he did have a role still during those years, but then he got a promotion in 2019 to being the safeties coach, which he held until last year. And obviously now he's going to be the defensive coordinator of the Bears defense. So he had to go through a pretty crazy road to get to where he is today. You know, a lot of rising up through the ranks and proving himself to a lot of different people in lower level roles. And, you know, eventually, you know, through his hard work, though, he did get to where he is right now. Okay, being defensive coordinator of the Chicago Bears. So obviously, a lot of respect goes out to this guy for finding a way to get this job and really earning the respect of everybody in Hallis Hall because like I mentioned earlier guys I mean I couldn't find a single person that had negative things to say about this move which shocks me so much because there's a lot of negativity right now going on in the Bears organization okay a lot of people are mad at you know the, the ownership you know Ryan Pace Matt Nagy and to see everybody praising this move okay literally everybody on the inside everybody on the outside as well to see everybody happy about this move it makes me feel that we maybe finally did something right okay for once maybe we finally made the right hire maybe this guy sean desai is gonna kick ass and bring us to our 2018 levels okay fingers crossed it happens i'm obviously not gonna predict it happens because that 2018 defense was truly special like there's gonna be few like that in bears history um so we're probably not gonna get to that same level but to be anywhere close to that level to be you know a top five defense maybe even a top three defense which we could be with all the talent that we have you know, that would be a great thing for the Bears because they desperately need this defense again to carry the load because I don't know what the situation is going to be at quarterback and on this offense as well. Okay, we still have Matt Nagy probably calling plays for next year. So, I mean, I'm not the most optimistic about our offense at this point in time unless we like trade for a guy like Deshaun Watson or something, which there's a very low chance of that happening. So, overall, I really like the hire. Let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments. But as always, bear down. Bear down.